You must now clean off thermal compound on these chips. In this video, I use multiple alcohol wipes and it takes about 15 to 20 minutes to remove the grease. An alternative method that takes much less time to do involves using two Q-tips, a CPU cleaner, and an alcohol wipe. You dip one Q-tip into the CPU cleaner and let about one drop fall on each of the chips from the Q-tip. Then you let the CPU cleaner sit there for about 30 to 40 seconds. Then you use the other Q-tip to wipe off the thermal compound that should come right out. You repeat this process if necessary. Once you have removed the thermal compound from the chips, use an alcohol wipe to purify the surface of the chips. The chips should have a mirror finish. You will also have to clean the thermal compound from your heat sinks. I used multiple alcohol wipes and another 15 minutes to remove the thermal compound from these. However, you can also use the alternative method stated earlier to remove the thermal compound in much less time. They should look like this once you have finished removing the thermal compound. You will now need the 16 flat metal washers, 16 nylon washers, and 8 machine screws included in our X-clamp kit. Now flip your motherboard over. Pick up one machine screw, place a flat metal washer on it first, and then a nylon washer. The nylon washer will be touching the motherboard. Place it into one of the eight holes. Repeat this process until you have filled up all eight. You can use scotch tape to hold the machine screws down, so the process of screwing them back into the heat sinks is easier. After you have the machine screws taped down, flip the board over. This time you will want to place a nylon washer on the machine screw first so that it is touching the motherboard and then a flat metal washer. Repeat this process for all the machine screws. Once you have finished this step, Grab your packet of thermal compound and open it up. Place a little bit of thermal compound on each of these chips. You can use a Q-tip to even out the thermal compound on each of the chips. Now place this heatsink on top of the chip and make sure the machine screws fall into the holes. Tighten each screw a little at a time, that way you can kind of even out the amount of pressure each screw has.
Remember to remove all the tape. Do not tighten the screws all the way yet. You will need to do this after the overheat process. Place this heatsink back on top of the chip, making sure the four screws fall into the holes. Begin to tighten the screws, once again tightening each screw a little bit at a time. Remember to remove all the tape. Do not tighten the screws all the way yet. You will need to do this after the overheat process. You have now finished installing the X-Clamp Kit. However, in order for it to work, you must complete the overheat process. Place the motherboard back into its metal casing. Start by putting the back end in and slowly pushing down until the motherboard goes in. You will now have to put your DVD drive back in. Connect both cables back into the motherboard and set the DVD drive back in. The next step is to reconnect your power button board. Place it back into the slot. Now, reconnect your power and video cables to your Xbox. The video cable does not have to be connected to a television. Turn on your Xbox by pressing this button. Some Xbox 360 consoles will still ROD at this point, so don't worry about it. Leave your Xbox 360 console on until you receive the two red lights indicating that your console has overheated. It should take about three minutes until you receive the two red lights. Once you get those lights, turn off your console. You will not be able to turn it off from the front. Unplug the power cord from the back. Let the Xbox 360 cool down for about 15 minutes. While you are waiting for your console to cool down, you will want to finish tightening the screws. Remove your DVD drive again. Remove the power button board. Pull the motherboard out using this piece. Lift it up and pull the motherboard out. You will have to finish tightening these screws. Tighten each screw a little bit at a time until all eight are nice and snug, not too tight and not too loose. After you have waited 15 minutes for the Xbox 360 to cool off, reassemble it. This has been the RROD X-Clamp Fix, presented to you by xclampkit.com. All the tools necessary to complete the repair are available on xclampkit.com.